everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today should be, hopefully, Tuesday, May 31st, which is also my 50th birthday. Uh, I will not be home uh, during my 50th. I will be out with friends, and so this will be pre-recorded, and hopefully will go up on Tuesday the 31st. This is my Italy haul. I'm going to talk about all the things that I picked up in Italy and tell you a little bit about my trip um, and everything that happened. So there's a lot to get through. Um, I did pick up quite a bit while I was there. And uh, if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. So hey, everybody. Um, really quickly on my face. Uh, what do I have on my face? Chanel number no. one uh, foundation. I have the new Charlotte Tilbury in medium. Uh, bronzer and I am awaiting the fair. I'm gonna do a video that's gonna detail all the different cream bronzers that have recently come out. There's a ton. Um, but this is the one I have on my face. It doesn't, it's not as deep as you might think it is once you put it on. Um, I have Suku uh, blush in 101 I think it is. It's the brown one. Or maybe it's 102. Let me check. Hold on. 102. Uh, the blush in 102 the uh, quad, I just have one shade from the Suku Quad 116 on my eyes. Brune Couvre uh, Chanel Liner, Mascara, Hermes Lip Gloss. Um, so, get that out of the way. So, my trip to Italy. Um, we took a trip to Lake Como and uh, to Milan at the beginning of May. The May 6th is my wedding anniversary, my husband and I wedding anniversary, and May 31st is my 50th birthday today. So we decided to sort of combine the two and do a big trip. Uh, and I had wanted to go to Lake Como for a long time. I've been to Italy a bunch of different times. Uh, I have family actually in Italy and um, Italy is one of my favorite places on the planet. So went to Lake Como, went to a hotel called the Grand uh, Hotel Tremezzo, which I've been to a lot of nice hotels. I, I've never seen anything like it. The service the food, the just the, the rooms, it's extraordinary. If, if you're looking for a place to really just get away and have like the most amazing experience, the best food, the best service you've ever had, that is the place. It's absolutely amazing. And I will definitely be going back. Um, that was our first trip, not our last. Um, so what ended up happening, so what happened was, uh, my husband uh, ended up getting COVID. Uh, <laughs> He ended up staying longer uh, until he tested negative and came back a week after I did. I came back um, three days after I expected to come back because he was sick and I didn't want to leave him right away, but then I was like, I had got to get back. Um, I tested negative. You know, you have to test negative to get back in the U.S. So I tested negative, had the doctor come to the test. Everything's fine. Uh, and on the way back, I wore a mask the whole time on the, on the flights. Um, on the way back, I was like, I don't feel well. <laughs> and by the time I got back to the US, I was very, very sick. Um, and so, you know, I feel very lucky because um, although I, I've been very sick um, and I'm still recovering, uh, it's not nearly as bad as it could have been. Uh, you know, I'm thrice vaccinated and I'm gonna go get my booster now that I'm 50 <laughs> next week. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, I, was, I was very, very sick. I didn't wanna make a big deal about it. You know, a lot of people have a lot of terrible things going on right now, um, and I try not to, I try not to bring that into this space. This is a space for everyone to come and relax and, and enjoy fashion and beauty. So, um, but thank you to everyone who, um, you know, said I hope you feel better because I was obviously sick in my videos. There was no way I could fake it. There's no way I could just hide it. Um, I did my best, um, but. Uh, yeah, um, you know, I'm definitely on the mend now. I, I still have this like chest cold. You can kind of hear it in my voice, but I feel a million times better than I did. So uh, hopefully back, um, you know, to normal very soon. So anyway, in the Lake Como, when we were at the Grand Hotel Tremezzo, they had um, like hutches. I showed pictures in the video that I did, the video blog, where you could actually shop from the hutches. Like there were different um, wares that you could buy. They also had a gift shop, which is not like a normal gift shop. It's not like they just had like sweatshirts and no, they had, they had high end sunglasses and clothing and scarves and she, I mean, it was, I was like, okay, that, you know, I, I was trying to limit myself because I knew I was then going to Milan and um, there's a number of things I wanted to pick up. So the first thing I picked up, um, and I have a picture of it, I don't know if I'll do the whole um, screen, 
weird hair hanging out there. I don't, my hair is not as Okay. Um, I don't know if I'll do the whole screen or just put it up aside, but I'll tell you about this piece. Um, the reason I don't have it up here is frankly, I'm afraid to get it anywhere near makeup because it was very expensive and it's like a cream shade. And I was like, I will get lipstick on it and destroy it. Um, and that would make me very upset. So it's from this collection called the Piccola Collection in Lino. It's called Mia, M-I-A. And the designer is Christina Maggi. Um, and you can actually, um, she's got a website. You can't shop on the website yet, although it does say coming soon. Um, and she does these pieces that are made either soap or linen. Um, and then she talks about Mia. Uh, it's a line, a very limited line. Um, and it says, Mia is an emotion, a sensation for the hands and for the eyes. For an antique textile, an exclusive fiber, a natural color, a small but precious detail. So they're very small collections. There's a few pieces of each design that she does. Um, and they're absolutely, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, they're just gorgeous. Um, so basically when she talks about it, she says, uh, Mia is a small collection, an intimate work, handmade, unique clothes are, are replicated in a very small number of copies. Uh, Mia produces with its own times and ways far away from the fashion market, uh, fashion market logics. This is its own wonderful identity. And that's what she put together, just like these cards that talk about the, um, the collection and it's a very limited collection so there's only a couple pieces of each design so therefore it's you know it is it is pricey um but i saw this in the little gift shop at the tremezzo and i was like i have to have it um i also got my husband a shirt like this cashmere blue it's stunning it's absolutely beautiful but anyway um so pick those up pick that up and hopefully i, I put up pictures and absolutely love that and when i walked into the hotel they had of course um, Bulgari products because Bulgari is Bulgari and there was a pair of sunglasses that I absolutely had to have I was just like no I have to have them so I bought them. so I bought them from the hotel and they're so funny because they wrapped it up and everything and I'm like I took it back out of the wrapping because I gotta put it in a suitcase so the Bulgari case is this beautiful like pewter case uh, opens like this. You know, Bulgari just just this beautiful job. And of course, there's a um, the silk uh, piece in there to, to clean the glasses, and then the glasses themselves, which I will put on for you, and then I will um, <laughs> I'll show you the sides of them. I fell in love with them, and I was like, I must. I must have them. So I, yeah, they came in different shades. Um, this one has, it's kind of hard to tell with the camera, but this has black on the top. There was one that had rose. There was one that had like a gray. And then on the side, it has the Bulgari um, design. And they're just, I mean, they're stunning. I had to have them. I had to have them. So um, I bought these at the hotel. And like I said, there were other things you could buy. There was like, jewelry there's, there's a whole bunch of things I I tried to be I, I didn't do a really great job but I tried to be somewhat reasonable in what I bought in, in Italy um, a couple of you mentioned that you noticed my uh, ring yes this was a birthday gift um, uh, emerald is my uh, birthstone because I'm uh, a Gemini born at the end of May and uh, so so yes, I've, I've knocked it into a couple, couple things. Um, but yes, you will probably see me wear that. I probably will not be taking that off ever. Uh, but uh, you know, it's uh, yes, it was a birthday gift. And thank you for all the nice comments, everyone who commented on it. Um, okay, so let's go through the makeup first that I picked up. Um, and then we'll talk about a bunch of other things. So first I looked for Dolce & Gabbana because Dolce & Gabbana really isn't in the US. And they, and they came out with a new um, like summer collection. I mentioned this in one of my videos. Peach Blossom and Tender Apricot. I also picked these up for a friend of mine who asked me to do that. So I have to, I have to send them to her. But um, these are the dual, they're called Solar Glow. Yeah, 
Solar Glow uh, Illuminating Powder Duos. So you can use them any way that you want, um, whether it's you know both as blushes or one as a highlighter and one as a blush, depending on your coloring. Um, this one is the Peach Blossom. And then the other one is the Tender Apricot. Pull that one out. That's Tender Apricot. So they're both like peachy and then they have the Sicilian uh, design on the front. Then they had a Solar Glow Universal Radiance Drops. I have one that's like a pink um, and this one is the peachy one. It's shade three, it's called Sunrise. And again, the Sicilian design on the top and it's kind of like a peachy, peachy color. Um, and like I said, I picked, I picked up, um, I picked up a set of the, all that for one of my friends. Then I picked up this Tom, we went to the Tom Ford boutique because my husband wanted to buy sunglasses. He lost his sunglasses. Um, and I picked up the Tom Ford Soleil Contouring Compact, and this is in Basque 03. And I don't remember this coming to the U.S. Maybe it's not here yet. Maybe I missed it. Maybe it's old. I don't know but I liked it, so I decided to pick it up. So this is 03 Basque, B-A-S-K. And to me, this looks like bronzer, and then either you, know, you could use these as highlighters, um, or highlighting like a little bit of contour or blush, depending on, again, your coloring. But I really liked this compact, and I was like, ooh. Um, when I went into the Tom Ford Boutique, they had, I didn't see anything that we didn't have here, although I will say Metal Lust was easy to get, so. Um, if you're in Europe, um, and you're looking for Metal Lust, it seemed to be pretty available, so, um, just kind of interesting. Uh, okay, so I went to the Sephora, as I showed you in my, um, travel vlog, and it's a huge Sephora, it's three levels. The top level is like a blowout brow bar, like, you know, parties and stuff. Um, the first level is all, like, makeup and, I guess, skincare. I can't even remember. And then the bottom level was all perfume. Anyway, it's, it's, it, the thing was enormous. And they gave me about 10 million samples. I'm not joking. So many samples, which I gave to a friend of mine because it was a ridiculous amount of samples. Like, just insane. Uh, I can't even tell you. Like, I had a bag full that I had to put in my suitcase. Um, so I picked up some more Dolce & Gabbana. I picked up the Cole Pencil in, what shade is this? Chocolate. I picked up the Dolce & Gabbana, Gabbana uh, Mascara. I've actually been saying I was going to get this for a while. My friend Gita told me how good it was. And the only place you can really get it is on Harrods. And I had done other Harrods orders and I was like, I don't need a mascara. But I'm going to try this mascara and if I love it, I'm going to be annoyed because I'm going to be like, shoot, now I can only get it at Harrods. But anyway, I did finally uh, pick it up. So I have the, uh, the Dolce & Gabbana Mascara as well. This is the Givenchy lip liner in um, 02. They had tons of uh, Givenchy, Dolce & Gabbana, uh, Dior, Tom Ford at the Sephora's. Like, just like it was just, was just there. It's not like a big deal. Um, and then I got a Gucci liquid matte lip color in Mildred Rosewood just because it was hard to get here. And this was one of the shades that I did want to try. I have another liquid lipstick um, from Gucci in Argentina. They met in Argentina. The, the Mildred Rosewood though looked like my kind of shade and I didn't really love the liquid lipstick but I also thought it would be like something interesting to have in case I had to wear masks again. Um, and I liked the shade and it was harder to find here or at least I was having problems finding it so I decided to uh, pick it up. Then I picked up um, three of the Dior show these are the um, felt liners because I was able to see the colors. Remember I mentioned in one of my videos that the names and the colors don't really match. So I was like, if I could see them in person, well, they had all of them um, just in the Sephora. Like it was just like, they had everything. The Sephora guys, it was just freaky. Um, anyway, I picked up um, the, um, let me make sure I got the shade names right. Satin, Satin Indigo matte green and what was the other one matte denim those are the three um and they are really really pretty shades 
These felt liners actually work really well. I like these. They stay on. They're very comfortable. They didn't like irritate my skin. Um, and unlike a lot of felt liners, they uh, actually work over um, foundation, over powders. So, like you can keep using them and they actually work, which is nice. Um, I picked up the uh, Dior blush in a shade called 361 Rose Basir, B-A-I-S-E-R. And I'll be honest, I don't remember if this is another shade here, like it's named something else, 361, or I just don't have the shade and it doesn't exist here, but it looks like a pretty pink shade and I didn't have it, so I was like, okay. So I'm gonna check my collection and see if I have 361 and it's just named something else here. And if so, and I already have it, I will just give it to a friend. Um, and if not, I will uh, I will add it to my collection. I know I don't have something named Rose Bashir, but I don't know if it's 361 and it's just named something else in the US. Um, I also picked up at Chanel um, a tweed blush. I looked for the tweed, what is it? Um, not copper, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a tweed one there, Sienna. They did not have that. But they did have Tweed Pink Paradise. They had a whole bunch of Tweed ones, but I've already, I've already bought those Tweed ones. But this one I did not have. This is Pink Paradise. So I picked it up. And I'll be using all of these so you guys can see them, but I was just like, you have Tweed blushes here. I was like, we don't get Tweed blushes. Why don't we get Tweed blushes? So anyway. So I got that. Um, and then I finally got the um, Givenchy pressed powder in uh, Prism, the Prisma Libre powder in, um, now I'm gonna get the name wrong, Voy Rose. This is a number three. And this was the shade that I've wanted for quite some time. And it's always sold out. And you can get it on some like, um, you know, some sites they'll have it, but then they always have like the other shade. I forget the other name of the other shade, but it's got like a blue in it. And um, this shade, the Voy Rose is always gone every time. So they had all of them in the Sephora and I was like, I'm gonna pick it up. So the compact comes like this. There's a little brush at the top, mirror, and then the brush folds up and then you have the pressed powder. So I'm very excited to try that. I'm gonna try that um, next to the Westman Atelier new powder, which is now my new favorite powder of all time because it's impressive. I don't have any on today, but I gotta say that powder, that powder really works. Picked up a bunch of stuff at Lush um, because there were some things I wanted to get for my sister. And while I was there, I did pick up two of their eyeliners, their liquid eyeliners, because I just wanted to try them. I got it encouraged and grounded which is like a green and a brown. These are liquid shadows, um, liquid liners, and they had their brushes there. Um, there was a brush called, they have names for the brushes. It's Get In There and Hey Big Blender. Um, if you're not familiar with Lush, Lush is a vegan um, line of products, so I knew the brushes would be um, vegan synthetic, and I uh, wanted to try them out to see what I think. I don't really have like a really good super thin liner brush, so I got the Get In There is a super thin liner brush. Let's see, it's got the, so I'm gonna use the liquid eyeliner, the liquid liners that I bought with that and see how that works. Um, I wanted to try it and just see what I think. And then this is just a regular fluffy brush. Um, you know, basic lay down brush. Um, but I'm gonna see what I think of them because they're not very expensive and uh, I like the other Lush products. So I figured, you know, might as well try them. Okay. Okay, we're still going. Um, uh, at the hotel, I had a, I had a facial. I had a beautiful. They did a fantastic job with their facial, and there was the now this line exists other places. It's called the Santa Maria Novella, and if I can get the link, I'll put it up. Um, but she did this really beautiful, like gentle. Uh, facial because my skin is very reactionary and very sensitive and so she just did this really was just really soft beautiful moisturizing facial and the thing she used is this crema per blanchir la carne 
basically it's it's face whitening cream that's what it is um, but it's a lightening cream but it's not irritating so it doesn't like irritate my sensitive skin um, and it says a brightening and whitening cream for the face for all skin types enriched with vegetable extracts and broad spectrum sunscreen, this formula helps restore the skin's beauty, bestows fresh radiance, and evens out skin tone. And she used this on me, and I absolutely loved the way my skin looked. So I was just like, check. So I bought it. I also bought from them, um, this is the line that they used, a orange uh, mist, a face mist. And it was orange blossom or orange something. I don't know. I, I have it downstairs in my bedroom, um, in my bathroom, so I don't have it up here. But it's so nice. And if I can get a picture, I will put it above because it's if you it, it's beautiful. And then I was in um, where was I? I can't remember where it was, but. Uh, I was talking about uh, hyaluronic acids with someone. How did I even get into this conversation? I went to so many different stores, I can't remember. Um, but there's this line called Filorga Laboratories, which is basically in like their drugstores, the pharmacies in Italy. And um, this is one that they really recommended. So I was like, you know what? I will try it. I think most of it's in Italian. So I don't know if I can read any of it. Is any of it in English? I could probably get a translation. Uh, no, none of it's in English. That's interesting. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, no, so I think there's something here. Uh, okay, Filor Filor Filorga, the number one French laboratory dedicated to aesthetic uh, medicine, has drawn on its experience in developing revolutionary anti-aging skincare formulated with NCEF. I don't even know what that is. A unique complex encapsulating active ingredients inspired by filling hyaluronic acid and revitalizing 50 ingredients, vitamins, amino acids, minerals, whatever, injections. And so there was a bunch of people in Italy that were talking about this. So I was just like, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> I'll try it. I was like, I'm in Italy. Why the heck not? Let me show you the other sunglasses that I bought. Um, I got shoes and a scarf. And then the rest is perfume, and there's a lot. I mean, so much perfume. So I didn't, I didn't pick up any clothes except for that one dress. Um, and clothes for me, like I am very hard to fit. I'm five feet tall, but I'm very curvy and I'm very busty. Um, and so I have a tough time finding clothes that look good on me. Um, and there are some lines that I really do like. Like I like Acris. I like. Um, Brunello Cuccinelli. I like. There's a there's a bunch of brands that I do like and I do wear, but. Um, for me to buy clothes, it's like a very long, <laughs> it takes forever. Uh, and usually I've tried things on all day and Sean wasn't feeling well, my husband wasn't feeling well, and it was hot, it was like 80 something degrees, which I know is not hot for a lot of you guys, but like for me, that's very hot. And so I was just like, you know what? I don't need to buy clothes in Italy. Um, I did buy the one dress, but you know. Um, all right, so, but I did buy another pair of sunglasses. And these are just basic sunglasses, these are Chanel. And the reason I bought them is I wanted a pair of like, it's gonna sound odd, but simple sunglasses. <laughs> I know, Chanel. Simple sunglasses to like travel with. And these were just like perfect. They are just Chanel tortoise sunglasses. It's very simple style very, you know, they're not unusual in any way, but they're perfect for travel. I can just throw them in a bag. I can pull my hair back with them. They go with everything. And I was like, these are perfect. Um, and these weren't out actually. I actually had to ask the nice person at Chanel. I was like, do you have any like sunglasses that like don't have metal, that don't have any like design and are just kind of, you know, like, simple but but not black and she was like one minute and she pulled those out and I was like so I was like that yes that would be perfect so um I did pick those up all right so shoes one sec so my husband got I don't even know how many pairs of shoes he bought he bought like I don't know four pairs of shoes I got two pairs of shoes I got these which I absolutely love they have like the little slide Let's see they're really cute um, and I just thought these were like a good shade that kind of went with everything um, and a good heel height. I don't wear heels. Um, I am five feet tall, but I don't wear heels heels anymore. I was a gymnast 
when I was young, uh, up until, until my early teenage years, and I have hurt every part of my body. <laughs> my ankles, my knees, my back, everything. So heels and I do not, we're not friends. Um, but I can wear like a chunky heel like this, this is fine, but I can't wear like, you know, a real heel. Um, and then the other shoes I bought are flats, and they're just, I love them, and I love the color. Um, they're like a seafoam green, and I was just like, I have to have them. And they're really comfortable, they're beautifully, they're just beautiful. They're, they're extremely well made, Italian leather, of course. Um, anyway, so shoes. <laughs> okay, I bought a stunning scarf. Um, this is a cashmere scarf, you can see with the edging on it. And it's got this, yeah, kind of, I should have bought more than one. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking I was spending a fortune, but um, I should have bought two because it's not like I can just go back. Um, but yeah, you can see that's the, the other side of it. And it's just, I mean, the feel of this thing, guys, there's, I don't know what they do. Like, I don't know why it's so much nicer, but it's so much nicer than like anything, anything I own. Like it, the just the material. <sighs> it's just and it's just. I mean, it's stunning. It's just stunning. It's just and it it's this beautifully. It's just it's a beautiful cashmere silk. I just uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I should have bought more. Uh, across from our hotel, across from the Four Seasons Lawn, there was an Aqua de Parma. Um, Aqua de Parma is a a line of um, uh, perfumes and Aqua de Parma has been around for a very long time. The original is yellow and it comes in like a, a votive that kind of looks like this, a bottle looks like that. Um, and it's like I said, it's yellow and it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. But I've always liked the Mediterranean line, which is the blue line. Um, this one is my favorite. It's Mandorlo di Sicilia. This is my favorite one. Um, it smells to me like just the best smelling thing on earth. Um, and it's hard to get here and they don't really sell the, they sell the, the, the perfume, but that's about it. So that comes in a shower gel, which I picked up. Um, and then I also picked up another one of the bottles. This is, it's an eau de toilette. Um, and I picked it up in the, is it the five? Yeah, five fluid ounce bottle. So I could have them because they're just, it's like one of my favorite scents. And so I was like, I have to get it. Um, and then of course, more samples. They gave me this like little jar and it's got a whole bunch of samples in it because I, I got so many samples, unbelievable. Uh, and then the Fico di Amalfi, which smells kind of like fig. This is um, one of the candles and it's, they're discontinuing it. So I was like, well, they're discontinuing it. I, I have to buy it. Um, and the, the the boutique is stunning. Like, it smells so good. I should have taken pictures of that, but I didn't. Okay, then there's a Zerjoff boutique. Just opened, not that long ago. And um, the man that was there was absolutely lovely. I've forgotten his name. But he said that they're gonna have a, a boutique exclusive fragrance, but it won't be until later. So next year when I go back, because I'm going back, <laughs> I'll have to pick it up. Um, but he gave me a whole bunch of samples of their different types of scents, which I need to try. I tried like everything in the store. They have every scent. So like they have the ones that are exclusive to Selfridges and the ones that are exclusive to Harrods, they have them in that store. Um, and I did pick up two scents while I was there. Now I could have ordered, I could have just come home and ordered these online. But to me, there was something special about being able to buy them from the actual boutique. Um, this one is Golden Mocha. And it's M-O-K-A, um, and this is 1.7 fluid ounces. I will do an unboxing of these um, later and talk about them, but the, the Zerjoff packaging is pretty outstanding. Although I will tell you, this is a 1.7 ounce perfume. The box is enormous. Trying to fit this all back in my suitcase when I came back was not easy. Um, and the other one that I picked up um, is something called Torino. And Torino is exclusive to the um, Turin Boutique. Um, 
the Turin boutique, Turin Italy, is where there's like a base, like where they're uh, where they are. And um, so I decided I'd pick this one up because I was like, oh, it's you know it's Italy, uh, and I was in the Milan boutique, so I'll pick it up. Um, both of these are just stunning fragrances, and I'll I'll put um, some details below. But honestly, I absolutely love both of them. There were so many Zhirtoff fragrances that I wanted to pick up, but they're they're pricey, they're not inexpensive, and more importantly, frankly, at the time, is I couldn't fit them all in my suitcase. So I was like, I get two, that's all I get. As you know, I went to the Chanel Boutique, I picked up the Paris Duville and the Paris Paris. I did not pick up the Paris Paris lotion, which I actually might get. Um, I was surprised at actually how much I liked the Paris Paris because I'm not a floral person like I don't like floral fragrances so I was like oh I'm not gonna like it because it's like you know rose and that's not my thing however this Paris Paris is actually really nice I don't know if I can smell anything yet oh I can smell stuff okay good um it's it's not just like floral it's got this I don't I don't know what it is but it actually smells really nice on me and I really, really liked it. So I was like, okay, I have the Edinburgh. Um, yeah, I have the Edinburgh. Um, and then I picked up the Deauville because I really like the Deauville. Um, and then I have the other one. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it'll come to me later. Gita, you'll know, uh, which the other one I have, it's like vanilla. For life of me, I can't think of what it is right now. Uh, and then I picked up um, a boutique exclusive body lotion. Now this is, um, I have the, the Who Vanille or whatever it is that you can get here at the boutiques in the U.S. If you notice the outside of the box, there's nothing on the box. It's just white, which I find fascinating. Um, but anyway, the, the, um, hair and body oil. So you can put it in the hair. This is called Who Douche. And, um, it is stunningly beautiful. And if I can figure out what's in it, like what the scent is, I will put it down below. Um, I think it has an 18 month shelf life, yeah. Um, and it's a large, large bottle. It's 8.4 fluid ounces. So this was not easy to bring back either, but since it was a boutique exclusive, I was like, well, I'll go ahead and get it. But um, it's a hair and body oil and it smells so good. It's light, but it's, it's phenomenal. Okay, then I went to a store named Mazzolari. If you're in Italy, go to Mazzolari. I don't remember which street on. There was like some, there were ones that were like the smaller Mazzolaris, and then there was the big Mazzolari. The big Mazzolari had three floors, well, two and a half floors, and a back secret room, which this woman took me in. I have never seen so many perfumes in my entire life. I'm not kidding. Every brand of perfume that maybe has ever existed was in this place. It was insane. <laughs> I could have lived there. Um, and I almost did, because I was there for a very long time. Uh, so I picked up one of their scents. Uh, it's called Mazzolari Alessandro, and it's almond. It is almost pure almond, so if you like an almond scent, this thing is stunning, and it's their scents, what they make. Um, and it's 100 milliliters, it's absolutely stunning. I think you can buy it on like Lucky Scent or something. I bought two of them in case one of my friends who is also a huge uh, perfume person wants it. And if she doesn't want it, then I will just keep it. It is just beautiful. Like if you, if you like almond, it's stunning. Um, I picked up the Gucci. This is um, the Eyes of the Tiger. This is a perfume that's, that exists here. I just had never bought it because I couldn't find it in the store where I wanted to smell it. Uh, I got to smell it in store. I was like, oh, it's fabulous. I will get it because I was on a perfume spree at that point. So why not? Um, this is the Aqua, Aqua Como um, scent that they had at my hotel. So this is one of the other things I, I picked up in the hotel. They actually gave this to me <laughs> after I bought the dress. They're like, here, have a candle. So they, that tells you something. Uh, so I bought the candle and then I also bought the, I, I bought the body lotion. And they gave me the candle. Um, it's a gorgeous scent. Um, you know, I couldn't even tell you what's in it, but, um, yeah, it's stunning. And on the back, it just says Grand Hotel Tremezzo. So basically it's for the, it's for the hotel. 
So that's where you get it. Um, it's a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, while I was in the, the Sephora, um, I picked up a few things too. Things you can pick up here, they're not um, exclusive or anything. I got the Givenchy, um, is it La Inter, uh, La Inter de, I'm gonna get it wrong, but anyway, that's what it is. I picked it up because I really loved the smell of it and I was like, oh, that's actually gorgeous, so I will buy it while I'm here. And then I also got the Irresistible um, by Givenchy, which I also liked. Um, this is an edit toilet. It's very light, but it was good. I was like, oh, this is something that I could wear, like, you know, for business meetings and stuff. So I really did like that. That was nice. Um, and then when I was in the uh, Mazzolare, where, like I said, they had everything, um, I picked up a bunch of different things, including the um, Armani Mag uh, Magenta Tanzanite, which I could not find here in the U.S. They also had... The blue one, like there's a blue one that's tanzanite, um, lapis tanzanite or something like that. I didn't like the scent of that as much. And I was already buying so much that I was like, you know what? I don't need it. So I got the magenta one, but I didn't get the other one. I think it's, I think it's lapis. I, I, I could be wrong. Um, then I picked up this one that's called Sulmona Essenza. I don't know. Um... It's an eau de parfum, and it smells like, this is going to sound really weird, but it smells like a Barbie, like a plastic Barbie, like how a Barbie doll smells, but in a good way. You, look it up if you can find it online. I love the scent. It, it's different, but I was like, oh, I love it. Uh, then I picked up Youp for Men, which is the scent that I used to wear when I was in law school, believe it or not. Um, and I just, I don't find this very often. Sometimes you can find it at like a TJ Maxx or, you know, like a, an outlet. Like it's not, it's not popular anymore, but I haven't been able to find it around me in a very long time. But I used to love this scent. Like I really, really loved it. And yes, technically it's for men, but I always, I wore this and loved it. So I was like, oh, I have to get it. It was super cheap. And I was just like, oh, I have to buy it. Um, I picked up the Bulgar, uh, I picked up the Bulgari, obviously Bulgari is like in my blood now because now I have sunglasses. I'm going to have to buy the snake necklace next. Um, I picked up the Eau de Noir. This is the, it's like a black tea uh, scent. I love the, um, the Bulgari tea scents, um, all of them. I love all of them. And I didn't have the black one, so I was like, okay, getting that. <laughs> Just see me like checking off these lists. Uh, and then I picked up something called Les Notes Gour Gourmandes. I'm probably not getting that right, um, but it's called Reminiscence. And it smells a little bit like cotton candy. Um, it's very sweet, but I, uh, I absolutely love the scent when she tried it for me. So I was just like, Oh, I have to get, I have to get that. Um, so yeah, so I absolutely love that. Um, and you know, it was just like all of the, you can see this just is adding up. So it's just crazy. Um, but yeah, it was a lot. Then, um, I found at the airport on the way back, one of these, and I was trying to get one for well, my friend and they did, did not have it. And everywhere I went, I asked about this and nobody had it. And nobody knew what I was talking about actually. Um, and even when I went to the airport and I was asking for it, nobody knew what I was talking about, but I managed to find it. It was like in with the other ones. I don't think it was supposed to be there, but anyway. Um, and this is the Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle Fleur Terrible. Um, and it's brand new and our understanding is that this is was only supposed to be in the UK and that's why we couldn't find it anywhere but I did find one in the airport um, and bought it it's got this really interesting applique at the top um, I like the original Jean-Paul Gaultier scent um, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite or anything but I do like it um, and this one I was trying to find for myself and like I said my friend but I can only find one uh, in a, in the airport randomly, uh, but I went to, I went to Mazzolare, I went to Sephora, I went to uh, Resistente, which is the department store, which is like their kind of like their Harrods. Nobody had it. Nobody had it, and nobody had what was the other thing I was looking for? Uh, Lancome Trezor Intense. Anyone knows how to get Lancome Trezor Intense? Let me know. Not the original one, the Intense. But anyway, uh, nobody knew what I was talking about. Everybody thought I was crazy, so I was just like, fine. And then when I found this at the airport, I was like, see, it does exist, but there was only one. So I don't think it was supposed to be there. <laughs> but anyway, by that point I had bought so much perfume, I was like, okay, I'm done. And then one last thing. 
So I also went to the new um, Guerlain boutique, and I, I did pictures of that over on my um, on my blog and a vlog. And I they gave me they gave me heart shaped pink chocolate in a box. That was interesting. A bunch of samples, a travel atomizer. They just gave these things. I, people just kept giving me stuff. And I was like, I can't fit it in my suitcase. Um, <laughs> seriously, folks, like I don't have space. It's a really cute atomizer, actually. It's like, um, it's like this fake black, I assume it's fake black leather, faux leather and top. So that was really cute. Um, and then I picked up the Musk uh, Outer Blanc, which is one of their newer fragrances in their very expensive bottles. Um, when they redesigned the, the um, Guerlain bottles, um, from like the B bottles to the new like square top bottles and you can get like different design stuff, the prices went up uh, dramatically. Um, as you can see, I have the Guerlain B, uh, you know, holiday thing behind me. So I have a lot of little ones but guys, the, the box, the new packaging, I mean, it's like 400 and, I forget exactly, it's like 400 and some odd dollars um, for this perfume. Now, it was beautiful perfume, and the size is the size of this. This must be a relatively big bottle. I don't even know. It's probably like three ounces or something like that. How do I not know? How do I not know what I bought? Hold on a second. So this is the Musk Outer Blanc, Outer Blanc, and it is a beautiful, it's a beautiful bottle. I mean, it's very simplistic, and it's, you can get like a different top, and you can get different like string, and I was like, no, I, the black and gold is fine. Um, so it is beautiful, but I mean, it's like $400, which is just a lot of money. The only thing that I would say is at least I got the VAT back on these because I went to the airport and did all that. It's all electronic now. Last time I tried to do the whole VAT thing, it, some of it was electronic, some of it wasn't. So now basically you just go and they have the stores that already have like a service. It's like global, blue, global, global blue or something. I can't really remember now. Anyway, um, they process it all for you and then you just go to the airport, you give it to all, the, like you give them all the forms at the airport, they scan it and then it just goes right back to your card. So it's like super easy. But anyway, um, that's not the point. Uh, I did buy this because I wanted to buy like one thing in, in Italy and say that I had bought it there, but um, it's a beautiful simplistic bottle uh, and the scent is actually lovely, but I, I it's just really pricey for, you know, I, I, it's just a lot. The one thing I did buy that I that I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it was this, and this is unique. So what this is, they don't have any exclusives to the Guerlain Boutique yet. Just like Zerjoff, they're too new. They are gonna have exclusives though. So if you travel there, I don't know how long it'll take, but they will start having exclusives to those boutiques. If you look at the bottle, it just says Guerlain. And hopefully the camera's picking that up and not my face. There we go. So it just says Guerlain on the bottle. And the reason it just says Guerlain on the bottle, this is 8.4 fluid ounces. And it's got, it's etched with the bees and it's got the design on top, which is like what the bottles of the exclusives um, looked like. And I have a couple of those bottles for the exclusives. Um, what this is, is the, um, the, oh my goodness, the Santal, why can't I remember the name of it? It'll come to me in a minute. Um, it's one of the most popular ones that Gorlon makes in the, <laughs> in the bottles that have like, um, they're white, oh my goodness, Santal Royale? I'll put the name down below. But anyway, it's in this special B bottle um, and it's just done this way for the boutique. Um, and I've wanted to pick up that fragrance actually for some time. It's a strong fragrance, but I do like it. And um, getting it in this bottle by itself, just with the Guerlain on it, I was like, okay, uh, I'll, I'll get it. So um, that was one thing that was unique that I decided to, to pick up. But you know, some of the things I picked up were things that you could only get there. And some of the things I picked up, and I could probably have just gotten them online here um, or ordered them you know, and had them shipped, but I would have had to pay for shipping and I would have had to pay the VAT and I did not have to do that here or taxes. Um, so 
I actually did save a little bit of money, but if you look at my desk right now, I didn't save any money because I spent a fortune on all these um, perfumes and makeup and the scarf and the shoes and the dress and the sunglasses. Oh, and earrings. I forgot my earrings. Hold on. And I didn't buy jewelry because, of course, I, I you know, after you get this, I was just like, and I'm done. Um, but I did, <laughs> yeah, uh, but I did feel I wanted to like buy one piece. So I bought these, these are amber um, earrings and um, they're just sort of set in a um, black, let me pull them out, a black, um, oh, what's that called? <laughs> onyx, black onyx back and the wire, gold wires, and they're just a beautiful amber. Uh, I've always liked Amber. I just think it's an interesting piece of history in a way, you know? Who knows what's trapped in there? Um, so yeah, so I really liked these. They were just very unique, um, and so I decided to pick these up. There were other pieces of jewelry that I admit, like, I was like, ooh. Um, but I was good. I, I didn't, yeah, I was good. Right. I didn't, you know, do too much. I mean, I did damage, but I, I tried to rein it in a little bit. And... I'm definitely going to go back. Um, now that I can, you know, we can travel again, um, I'm so glad that I was able to go and it was a wonderful way to spend uh, our anniversary and my birthday um, and it was just a beautiful trip. And like I said, uh, Lake Como is stunningly beautiful. Milan is, you know, so much fun and just great to walk around. The shops are amazing. Um, it, there was so much, uh, as you can see, but if you could see the table in front of me, you would just be horrified. Um, but uh, I will definitely uh, talk more about these perfumes and I'll talk about the makeup that I picked up and all of those things um, in the coming weeks. But today on my birthday, I thought this would be the perfect time to do the Italy haul. Um, and so if I don't get um, back to you or if you're like on Instagram or something, it's because I am traveling while this video goes up. But uh, I figured for my 50th birthday, you know, I should, uh, <laughs> I should, I should go out and, and do something for the actual day. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to get through, a lot to talk about, and I'll, you know, be talking about these over the coming months, weeks, years possibly. And if you have any questions, um, just let me know in the, uh, in the, uh, comments below. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.